What was your favorite toy as a child? For me, it was a Rubik's Cube like this one right here. Don't ask me to solve it. We don't have that much time. For Utah native Dale Meyerberg, his most cherished gift is one that has taken him around the world to places like Australia and Japan, teaching him valuable life lessons. Down and up, that's the first trick in yo-yo. Let me introduce myself, folks. My name is Dale Meyerberg. I'm Utah's own world-class yo-yo man. I thought it looked like an incredible toy. He's a mean dog. Ouch! That's a dog bite. I didn't believe that you could make something go down and up like that. I've since learned that you can make it do a lot more than that. Especially when you combine this small plastic toy and the malleable human spirit. Life's a pretty special thing. It's really nice. It has its ups and downs, literally. My brother brought a yo-yo home. He was, I think he, he was 14 and I was five years old and he'd borrowed it from a friend and I was intrigued by it. I was a little skinny kid and I wasn't good at sports or anything like that. And I picked the yo-yo up and immediately had a dream of becoming a yo-yo man. This trick, the two-handed loop-the-loop, is Dale's favorite. There's just something about this steady stream of sound. If you close your eyes, you might be able to feel it too. Yeah, it's like a zen. A melodic medicine that, for Dale, cures all that ails him. I had a hole in my heart, and then I acquired bladder cancer, and I got through that, and I'm 13 and a half years cancer-free. Yo-yo still in hand. And the yo-yo comes up, ready to yo. Why quit? If I'd have quit, I'd have probably gave up and been gone a long time ago. He's traveled throughout Utah and the world for decades, teaching people, young and old, how to yo. The traveling yo-yo men that traveled around with Duncan Yo-Yo back in the 50s, they took a shine into me and they taught me a lot of tricks that they wouldn't teach everybody because I picked them up pretty quick. This is the first string trick I ever learned. The brain twister, round and around, one, two, three. I was always really nervous when I competed, but I kept doing it. Challenge, it's a challenge, you know, you're going after a dream and Took me a while to achieve that dream. This Utah native is a world yo-yo champion, one of four yo-yo grandmasters in the world. That means the man you see right here dedicated his life to the sport and changed the way that people like you and me yo-yo. These are world records that I held. Records that helped him land a spot in the Yo-Yo Hall of Fame. They hired me to go on the kiddie TV shows back in the 50s. There were shows like Uncle Roscoe, Engineer Ron, Sheriff Jim, Captain Casey, and a bunch of fun shows. I found that it made me a mini celebrity. Performing with the Smothers Brothers, Roy Acoff, Leon Redbone, Donny Osmond, Kelly Savalas, and Andy Richter. Yo-yo magic, over the wrist once, over the wrist twice, over the pinky, and it comes back like Magic. I just love doing it, and it's incredible. It's, uh, you're making me think back about it. Well, I've had a lot of incredible feelings. Dale has a yo-yo collection you won't see anywhere else, featuring yo-yos of different colors, shapes, and sizes. That's from the 2002 Olympics. I'm a small timer that got to do a couple of big time things. I found that I can get through anything I need to get through, no matter how hard it is, you know, if I just keep a good attitude and practice the wisdom that I've learned over the years. Through the yo-yo competitions and everything, I started gaining a lot more wisdom in life, overcoming resentments, overcoming disappointments. Stop. Make it go again. I learned that it's okay to lose. It's okay not to win everything. You're still a winner, and you know, the, the more gr gracious you are about losing, the more of a winner you are. So I decided to take a page from Dale's Book of Courage for one of his most dangerous tricks. Yeah, that's perfect. 
Okay, now I've done this trick over 25,000 times. Only put two people in the hospital and only one of them died. So percentage-wise, I've got a real good safety record. This is only the second most dangerous yo-yo trick in the world. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that wow! That came off real clean, didn't it? <laughs> it did, it I got nothing. The souvenir Thank from the you. real yo-yo man. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're in good company. I'm not gonna quarter off of uh, Governor Matheson. Governor Levitt, this is Governor Bangader, and he actually got a little mad when I started moving in with the yo-yo, and he had this great big giant security guard really watching me. I never hit any of them, although there's some politicians I'd like to have hit. I'll take as many tries as I want. Today, you can find Dale at Snowbird Oktoberfest. How many chances do I get? Thank you, you're right. Where he's performed for more than 30 seasons. How old are you? Five. Oh, that's how old I was when I first picked a yo-yo up. I'm five, two. They don't think they can do it, but I can teach them. I'm a national grandmaster, and that's what a master's supposed to do, is what I was taught, teach their students to be better than them. Hey, it just makes me feel really good to prove that I can teach little kids like I was. It's just something I have a desire to continue doing. I'm just as excited going up to Snowbird Saturday I, as I was when I did my first show. Oh, I love looking at this. It's good memories. Boy, it'd be nice if everybody could have a room like this filled with something that they love. This is Utah is made possible in part by the George S. and Dolores Story Eccles Foundation, the Utah Office of Tourism, the Lawrence T. and Janet T. D. Foundation, and the contributing members of KUED. Thank you.